It's day 101 and I have just 100 more days to take on the Alpha Overseer after defeating the Gamma Overseer in the previous 100 days. So go check out that video if you haven't already because well it kind of leads into this so just go watch it. On day 1 I spawned in on the island and began to farm some basic material- Wait what? I've never done a 200 days so this feels weird. On day 101 I spawned at base. The first thing I did was look around my base and see what I had left from the previous 100 days before I took flight with my Rhino and headed over to the tech cave entrance to see what had come back me to the overworld from the overseer fight and more importantly to collect my otter. With the otter picked up I returned back to base and checked out what my Rex's stats were as I thought they would probably need to improve to take on the alpha overseer in this 100 days. Using Arc Smart Breeder, I found out that my current Rex is 38 points into the health stat and it claimed to have 57 into melee, which was quite a good start already. With the loot drops being oh, useful, brother. I looted this beaver dam before I headed over to the lower south cave and entered in on foot. I was at the cave to look for cave drops, but not only were they not spawning, none of the creatures were spawning as well as it was eerily quiet. So I left, went back to base, and picked up my Megatherium and took it on over to the swamp cave and began breeding them there. I hatched twins and led them inside, giving them berries for food so they wouldn't starve. I quickly popped out the cave to turn the parents off mating, only to return to the babies to find nothing. They had fallen underneath the world, which I then confirmed as I turned on the tracker to see that they were miles down below. Why are you there? As it was clear the Megatheriums wouldn't work, I went back to base and picked up my frog to do the swamp cave with. The frogs have a damage buff against the Maganura, which made killing them so easy. In this cave I found a yellow drop, and then further in I found a red drop, and I quickly took the swamp cave artifact. I left, returned to base, only to find a surprise raptor just chilling in my base, so I killed it. Sorry Rampy. I headed out to get organic polymer for the gilly BP I'd just gotten in the cave, but there were no penguins. Dude, where are they? I checked everywhere, but nothing. So I went back to base, then I went out again, up to the mountain to get obsidian to make polymer, but I then found something cool, an hanky. So I brought it home, dropped it in my taming trap and knocked it out but accidentally shot it as it was going down and ruined the taming effectiveness. But I still wanted to tame it, so I went out to get berries and then fed the berries to the Yankee. Whilst it tamed, I used the obsidian I had just got to make polymer and headed out with my old Yankee to get more metal. By the following day, my new Anki was tamed and I took it out to get more metal straight away. Also doing a quick trip to the snow to get more obsidian. I now wanted to get myself an FRX so I could have better stats before I began mutation hunting. On the third try I found it. Dude look at that one. I quickly killed its friend and flew back to base only to find an intruder. Just kidding that was me making thumbnails for another video. At base I hopped on my Rhino and flew back out to where the Rex was. Well where is it then? I found the Rex further up munching on something else. So I picked it up, brought it back to base. By sunset, I had knocked it out. Oh, that leg looks kind of painful. I then checked the stats, and they weren't that promising. But I had hope, so I killed a Rex to get raw prime meat, looted this loot drop, and then began transferring items to an obelisk to begin crafting a tech replicator. I did a few drips bringing all the metal, but once I had, I crafted it. I tried to place it at base, but it was too large and didn't fit. But that was okay as I didn't have too much element to use for it anyway. My taming rex finished taming and its stats were poor. So I went back to working on placing the tech replicator down, placing some of these ceilings down. What the hell are these? Why are they so small? I crafted the proper ceilings and placed them down, but then noticed something attacking my base. It was a rex, but a low level, so I killed it quite quickly. I placed the tech replicator, but didn't have much use as I couldn't really use it with the element that I had. So instead, I began breeding my two old Rexes as they had the best stats out of all the Rexes I had tamed so far, even despite taming that level 150 just moments ago. I hatched a male who had the best stats of the parents, and I named him 00 male. As he grew, I decimated all of his brothers as I only wanted the females so that I could have 00 females. As the mother also had perfect stats, I would just use her as a 0, zero female and breed it with the male, who was her child. I began breeding the duo, killing the males and claiming the females and naming them 0, zero females so I could have more females, as the more females you have, the quicker breeding goes and the more easy it becomes to get mutations and yada yada yada. Whilst it grew up, I took my Yankee out to farm more obsidian to make even more, you guessed it, polymer and throw out the metal in the forge. I then found this amazing yellow drop which had fur gear on my way to the snow to kill penguins to get organic polymer. The polymer was to be used to make the gilly BP I had just gotten a few days ago. I then went back to breeding and got a mutation on the health stat, but it was on a female. 
I got another 0, zero female and then left them both to raise whilst I headed over to the northwest cave. I just hoped that it would go smoother than the cave in the previous 100 days. And things were going better, till I got mega rabies. But luckily I brought antidote with me. Wait, did that spider just willingly walk into the death pit? <laughs> I made it to the artifact room and collected it, killing the final spider in the room. I quickly left, killed an RG outside and went back to base. At base my mutated female was fully grown so I bred it to the 00 male. I hatched a few more 00 females and then got the mutation onto a male. But these babies were hungry, so I had to get some food for them. I then spent some time hatching a bunch more eggs looking for further mutations, but it turned out to be a really good method of leveling my Anki. But I took a break from the hatching and went out to search for a specific creature, an Overaptor, as I heard these guys had a brand new ability which I wanted to take advantage of. I found this level 20 and brought it home to knock out. Oh my god. Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. As I mourned the lifeless body, I went out and found another one. He was only level 15 this time. I brought it back, knocked it out, and without shooting its head this time, fed it some Rex eggs and tamed it. But before I could use its ability, I killed some more baby Rexes. I took a break from the killing and took my frog out to the swamp cave and entered and began killing mini Maganuras once again. I looted this red drop which had a nice crossbow and I returned back to base to kill more baby Rexes. Until I finally hatched one which had a cool colour mutation, but the stats still weren't any better. Whilst it grew up I made some scuba and flew out to my water pen, took my motor out for a swim, getting into a couple of fights in the process, but I made my way down to the west water cave. Took out the annoying eels that were in there and the megalodons before I placed down a bunch of sleeping bags and I mean a bunch. I think I brought around 20. The plan was to teleport back to the cave every now and then to find loot drops. So once they were all placed I went to search for the loot drops. Nope. I quickly collected the artifact of the brute and left on my moza and headed back to base. Once back I saw my rex had finished growing so I began to breed it with a level 150 I attained who had a cool pink belly and continued to breed for more mutations. But that ended up me just killing a whole bunch more babies. I eventually hatched a male who had a mutation in the melee stat and claimed it. Once it had grown up I began to breed it with all the other ladies and I hatched a rex with colours I'd been mutating for. And I'd also began to use a fairy which I named appropriately. What's happening? Dude, what's happening? What? Why has everyone just ran to me? Over the next couple of days I hatched a few more mutations, some colours, a second health which I began to brew with all the females once it had grown up. On day 122 I got another health mutation and also increased my range of colours further. And on the very next day I would gotten another health mutation. Whilst that one grew up I teleported to the sleeping bags I had placed in the easy water cave and looted this red drop for an ascendant rifle and then got back into breeding as I got another mutation. The next day I was up to 4 health and 3 melee mutations. I put these stat on a male and then got another health mutation. Whilst putting those stats onto a male I got another health mutation but this time it was on a female. I bred it until I got the male that I needed and then got another health mutation. Then another but this time it was a melee mutation. I took a break as it grew up to start a new project as I gathered some wood and then stone and began building some stone structures. I took my frog over to the swamp and began building a small hut just 2x2 two two wide which had storage and a bed for easy access. Once it was built I took my frog inside the cave and killed some Maganuras which you've seen me do like a million times already. I lit this good red drop and then left leaving my frog in its new house and flying myself back to base. I was in the mood for more caving however so I picked up my cave running raptor and headed over to the lower south cave. I probably could have done this cave on foot with my shotgun as the raptor was kind of useless but it was there for moral support I guess. I collected the artifact and began to make my way out only to get stuck with many many spiders and arthros attacking me. Help! Help! Come on help! Please! Please! I somehow made it past them and then quickly left and flew back to base only to begin more mutation breeding. I quickly stopped that breeding though as I wanted to do more caving. This time the lava cave. I began to take out the many bats in the cave and my moss chops was doing more than good enough job. Even the spiders were no match for it. Things were going well until I got mega rabies and I had to split from my moss chops as it couldn't make this jump. So I made the jump and continued on foot only to get mega rabies again. 
Oh, I love this game. I kept trying to kill the bats, but the Mega Rabies timer kept resetting, and I soon ran out of health and perished. No, no, they're gonna kill me, no. I spawned back in the cave, looted my things, and began killing the bats once again. I placed a spare sleeping bag in case that happened again, and continued my way down the cave. Oh my god, I've got Mega Rabies again! I died, spawned back, got my stuff, and killed the remaining few bats. I quickly looted the artifact and made my way out, meeting up with my moss chops and then spotting a blue drop which I had to clear the area before and then looted the drop which was meh. I made my way out, flew away and continued with the second cave, the upper south cave. I made my way in with the moss chops but it couldn't fit any further. I made my way in on foot and a shotgun, killing the arthros and the bats and the bats and the bats. I hate bats. I'm in my way into the main room, grabbing my way over the, to the small hole which allowed me to skip the entire water section. But inside there were bats, and I couldn't be bothered with them, so I ran past. Oh, I got mega rabies again. I got to the artifact, looted it, and had to run past those bats and to the water, which I grappled over. Ooh, that was close. Uh, uh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Get, get out, get out, go on, get out. Oh, that could have been so bad. Oh, go on, just, oh, just go, go. Oh, there was a sarco in the water. Oh, that could have been bad. And I'm out of stamina, great. What? Oh, and there's a bat. What's the bat doing? Oh, oh, it's stuck. Oh, oh thank God. I flew back to base and arrived later that night. But I was soon out again as I had spotted something on my caving travels. I spotted this level 140 Triceratops, which I'd come to learn were quite good in this video, which you should go watch if you haven't already. So I picked up the trike and brought it back to base where I dropped into my taming pen and then knocked it out. I also made some exceptional kibble as I had a few spare rex eggs and vegetables from the greenhouse I'd made in the first 100 days. This made the taming process much quicker as it was shortly tamed just after. But after checking all the trikes I had tamed already, I found it had the worst stats. So I began breeding the trikes with the best stats until I had two more, who both had all the best stats. Whilst it grew up I crafted a bunch of ACs and another generator, and collected the best fur gear I had available, as well as making some more shotgun ammo and trying to make some veggie cakes, but I didn't have the honey. So I packed all that stuff away and then headed out to tame me a dire bear. I found some decent levels but settled for this level 50, as I had lost where the level 90 was that I just spotted. Yeah, but then I found something which was really interesting. If you fly straight with the creature, it would attack you, but as soon as you flew at an angle, it would stop. But then, the instant you went back to flying straight again, it would attack again. Nonetheless, I brought it to base, knocked it out, tamed it, and gave it a saddle before I flew back out with it. In the redwoods, I made some simple structures and ramped up to the tree and used the bear to harvest the honey. I got the final ingredient of fibre and threw everything together in the cooking pot to make veggie cakes. I then picked up everything I needed and a life tray and flew over to the hard snow cave. Once there, I ran inside a bit to the first room and then blocked it off with some gates so I couldn't be attacked. I placed down a generator, some ACs and an egg and waited for it to hatch. Before it hatched, I brought over some rex eggs I had brought with me and the life tray. I then hatched a trike imprinted it with berries and began to mass murder all the baby rexes I had brought, which was a lot. So much in fact I'd earned 62 levels on my trike. Whilst it healed up I brought the life straw out and made a couple sleeping bags, consumed a veggie cake on the trike and began the brawl against the mobs. But it turned out that the trike was the best option for this cave, due to its face damage taking reduction meaning it almost took no damage whatsoever to the bears. So with that, I was able to easily clear the first room and move into the next. Although things did get a little bit leery when I took on five dire bears all at once. They all died. Another awesome feature was that Perlovias couldn't stun me off the trike, so the biggest problem in the cave in my opinion was no longer a threat at all. As I continued to easily move forward in the cave, taking out these bears, I did a yellow drop and then moved into the dangerous chamber where I had died so many times before in the previous 100 days, but this time it was an absolute breeze with my new amazing trike. I moved into the next big room and took out more mobs, used a bit of parkour to get myself onto this ledge to loot this yellow drop which was amazing. A rhino saddle, really. I then took on far too many creatures at once, but my trike was a beast and killed them all. I then blocked two Perlovia stuns killed a couple swimming monkeys and then finished the final few creatures in the cave before I went and collected the artifact of the brute. I also gave my trike a new deserved name. On the way out I found this decent blue drop and continued to walk my way out. 
but things went bad, as I tried to clear this area going for a yellow drop. Oh no, 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 no. Get on the track, get on the track, go on, please. Oh, get me back on, get me back on, please. Oh, 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 that could have been so bad. Well, I guess Pelovius can still stun me from the side then. The yellow drop had an ascendant thylus saddle win it, so I guess it was worth it. I got this blue drop and this final red drop with both having some decent loot. I parked up my trike, waved goodbye and flew back to base with the artifact in my possession. I stopped off at this yellow drop which had more good loot for me, but then dropped all my things at base and teleported over to the swamp cave to meet up with my frog once again. We entered the cave, killed the creatures as normal and I quickly looted this red drop before running away. But this red drop would change everything. I got to a safe place and examined it. I just got myself an Ascendant Rex Saddle Blueprint with 111.3 armor. The Alpha Overseer was going down. I placed the BP safely into a storage box and then teleported back to base. I immediately flew over on my RG to retrieve the blueprint and picked up my frog as its work was now complete. I immediately started work on the BP by gathering this fiber which was a lot especially from these swampy bushes. I then placed some storage boxes close to the tech replicator to store all the materials for the saddle. Then I started work on the next material, metal, and I needed a serious amount of it. So I spent the next few hours farming a lot. The following day I went back to breeding and managed to combine all my color mutations onto one rex. The next entire day was then spent out in the wild killing all my rex trying to get a massive amount of hide needed for the saddles before I finish off the day with another health mutation on my Rexes, shortly followed by a second one. Whilst I grew up, I went out and spotted a Carchodontosaurus, so I hatched a Rex as a sacrifice and then brought it over to feed the Karcher. Once it ate it, I hopped on its back and went on a murderous spree. Before not too long it was tamed and I brought it back to base. Then I went out on another trip with my Rex to get even more hide, before quickly doing another metal run with my Anki. But on the metal run I spotted another Karcher, who was the opposite gender this time. So I brought it and killed a baby rex for it to feed the Karcher. Dude, do you want to eat? It finally ate and I was able to begin the taming process. There we go, yo bro it's trying to, oh it just almost killed me as it tamed it. I brought the Karcher back to base to team up with its future mate and checked my metal which had been smelting nicely. This went on for a few days as I did nothing but waited. But once it was all done, I used a mind wipe tonic to reset my stats and put every single point into the crafting skill stat. Then I had to move like 20k metal when I could only move about 200 at once. Why didn't I do this first? After 40 million years of moving metal, I was ready to craft all the saddles. And these were the saddles I was able to make. Some were quite good and some weren't so. I drank the spare mind wipe tonic and reset all my stats before I began to breed my Karcher with the egg needing 16 minutes. So I waited and did nothing. It finally hatched on the next day and it had the better stat of the two. Well, the melee stats were only 5% difference so it didn't make too much difference anyway. Whilst it grew up I went to get wood to turn into charcoal in the forge and flint and stone to make spark powder and then I began imprinting on the Karcher Dontosaurus. Once it was grown I killed baby Rexes to get the much needed levels and also even managed to get another mutation on my Rexes, this time into melee. Then I got another health mutation, followed by a last one, with my final stats being 12 health and 5 melee. An incredible feat I must say. I began breeding these Rexes with one of my perfect colour Rexes to combine all the good stats and colours and all that stuff. And after imprinting, I now spent a couple days combining the best colours and stats, but I took a break and picked up my Moss Chops. Oh, uh, now I've dropped it. Now here we go. I picked up my moss chops and headed out to the Kano Island cave. We entered and I soon found a problem. There were these small jumps which I had completely forgotten about. So getting down wasn't an issue, but how on earth would I get my moss chops back out? I leaped down to the bottom and began the most intense fight you've ever seen with a moss chops. Oh, it's over. Well, that was rather easy. 
I parted my moss shops who couldn't make the jump and continued my way out. Yo, there's so many. What? I got mega rabies. Run. Come on, run. Oh, there's a second jump. Run. Go on. Right, run, run. Oh, come on. Get back to the moss shops. Please make it. Make it. After killing those bats, I made the jump I just failed on, ran past a few more bats, made a couple more jumps and exited the cave with an other artifact collected. At base I threw down a bunch of spare rex eggs and used them to level my few boss rexes, as I was able to get them up to 30,000 health and around 950% melee. I leveled another rex and then realised I was still missing something that I needed for the boss fight, so I packed up my taming gear and headed out to find it. I needed a UT and the first one I found was level 70. Not too bad, but I then found a cart jar and realised that I still needed the giga hearts for the bosses. So I shot it to death and looted the body and... Well, where is it? Well, where's the heart? They're supposed to drop hearts. This issue was then fixed a few days later, thankfully. I guess that's good though. I continued my search for a UT and found a level 105, picked it up and dropped it into this mobile trap that I'd made from metal billboards. I knocked it out, got some prime meat from a mammoth I had just killed, and by the morning of day 159, it was tamed. I then spent the next 6 days levelling up every single boss rex to 30k HP and nearly 1k melee, and on day 165, all 19 rexes were levelled. With the levelling done, I headed out to my water pen and took my entire army out to complete the last water cave, the Hard Eastern Cave. We entered and instantly began taking out the many creatures inside, but my giant pack of megalodons made light work of this and were able to kill everything super quickly. As I made my way into the room with the artifact, I killed the remaining few creatures and looted the artifact. I then ran into a Tuso, who I was able to kill, but it did drain all of my stam, making it take forever just to get back onto my Mosa. I killed the few remaining creatures in the cave, got this red drop which had some incredible loot in it, before I returned everything back to the water pen and went back to base. I then went out to do a bit of tribute hunting for the alpha bosses, killing a couple UTs and more importantly Gigas for the Giga Heart. I continued the tribute hunting into the next day as I took my Rex out to get Rex Arms, Sauropod Vertebrae, Thylaclaws, Sarco Skin and more UT Lungs. The following day I headed out to the water once again to get the final few tributes. I did have to use some console commands to make the water visibility better. Yes, it may kind of be cheating, but anyone's free to do this on Acer as anyone can access the console command now. I killed some Basilos to get Basilo Blubber, and once I had gotten enough I returned my Moza to its pen. I followed this up by farming some more wood to turn into charcoal. Whilst it was burning I went out to complete another set of tributes, Spino Cells. At base I levelled my UT, who I had for some reason forgot to level so far, before I began the long process of moving all my Rexes over to the Green Obelisk, even though it was just close, as it was now time to start boss fights. This process took me two long old days, and by day 175 they were all here, ready to go. But there was still one thing left to do, name them. And as a thank you for all the support on the previous 100 days, I wanted to pick 20 of the nicest and best comments to join me in my army to take down the island's hardest bosses. So if you see your name on screen right now, welcome to the army, it's great to have you here. I quickly nipped back to base to get the artifacts and tributes, but now it was go time. Alright, let's summon in this alpha brood. <sighs> Here we go. Alright, let's get on the UT. Come on. There we go. Everyone go. Oh, Christ, it's quick. Get it, guys. Get it. Come on. Ah, uh, now they go. Okay, right. Give us some coverage. Alright, come on, guys. Give them a bit more coverage. Wait. Oh, wow, it's, it's giving out 700 damage. And my guys have got incredible saddles. We're literally... Oh, wait, no. That's 330. Oh. It's odd. Yeah. I need to get some... There we go. Got some behind it. It's always an issue with this boss fight. You also attack this target and they all just bunch up at the front. And then the ones at the back don't do damage because they can't reach it. Alright, let's give them the final... Alright, let's everyone encourage up in this one guy here. We're getting close to halfway already though, that's, that's decent. Yeah, I know. I always get comments telling me to do this fight with Megatheriums and I can never really be bothered to breed up our whole army, so I'll just do it with Rexes. 
I can't recall the last time I've ever done this with Mega Ethereums. Ooh, that Rex there seems a bit bloody. Right, I need to help out. How did that shotgun not hit? What? Right, there we go, now it hits. Right, come on. That's like a quarter left, come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, we're so close. Go on. Oh, the coverage just run out. Come on. Refill that. Oh, almost there. Go on. Go on. Let's go. Easy. Right, oh, yeah. Let's get the um, the loot drop. Claim our element. How did the Rexes do? Ooh, that that's a lot of health. That's a lot of health taken. Must again similar amount. I didn't think they'd take this much. The hell? Eleven k. Yeah, they've all taken around like eighteen, fifteen k damage. That's I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. Wow, that one looked like it's got his. I thought that one was dead for a second. With the way it was stood. What's this? They've all got like half health left. I'm, I'm surprised it took so much damage. We teleported back to the overworld with one boss down and just two more to go. Well, two of the normal bosses because we still have the overseer at the end. As my Frexes had just taken quite a battering in that fight, I headed over to the snow to get something which would heal them up. A Deodom. What is that? That's a unicorn. That's a unicorn. I'm having that. I picked it up and dropped it at base got some rock carrots from the fridge and went over to tame it. It tamed almost instantly because it was a low level, but I now had a unicorn. I still needed that Deodon though, that I'd originally set out to get. I picked up this level 95 that I found, dropped it at base, knocked it out, and went to get a lot of prime meat for it, as they eat so much, and it was tamed shortly after. I fed my new dead on a couple baby rexes to get the levels and then took it over to the green obelisk to help heal up my rexes. I used the trick of going out to Frenda to fill its hunger bar again and repeated that for the rest of the day. I still needed more tributes to do the next boss fight though, so I headed over to Kano Island to try and find myself a Megalania, but unfortunately there wasn't one here. So I left and made my way to the lower south cave where they sometimes spawn as well. I killed a couple creatures and then found one. Instead of killing it though, I knocked it out as you can repeatedly knock them out and get more than two toxins. And once I collected all the toxin needed, I left. I now began to move all my Rexes over to the blue obelisk, and after a few days of moving and waiting for them to heal back up, I picked up the tributes and artifacts and summoned in the Alpha Monkey. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's get on the beauty. Everyone, go further that way. I don't want to risk you falling off that little pit there. That will do. Oh, the alpha is quick, and I need to be careful to shoot it from far enough away where I can get back in time and not take damage on my UT. Right, can I get it from here? Go on, go in the gap there, please. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I turned back at the last second. Right, I'm not getting any closer than this. Go on. There we go, there we go, run, run, run. Oh, this is, it's gonna be so quick, run. Oh, look at it. What? All right, miss me, please miss, please miss. All right, Rexes, hope you're ready. Get it. Come on, guys, turn around. It's going for me, no. Get the Rex. Here we go, give him some coverage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. Oh, okay, no, this... Wait, it's only doing 100 damage with its base attack. Oh, this thing is just getting shredded. It's half health already. Holy. Yo, the, I knew the, me the monkey was easy, but oh, I didn't realize it was this easy. Bro, we've absolutely melted it. Go on, go on. We're almost there. And it's done. That's, that was way too quick and way too easy. I'm not complaining though. The Alpha Monkey is down and that leaves just the Dragon left. Oh, I can't wait. Right, let's get the element. Thank you very much. I wonder how much damage did they take? 
Crazy lady, what's yours? Only 3k? 2k? What? <laughs> the next few days were then spent further levelling up the Rexes as I needed them to be even stronger for the dragon and moving them over to the Red Obelisk and on day 185 it was go time. Oh, I'm, so, I'm never normally nervous for boss fights until, unless it's the dragon. I'm always nervous for the dragon because it's make or break. Oh. Once again, I know you should probably be doing this with Ferrocinus, but I don't think I had time to raise them up. But oh, here we go. Alright, I need to take its aggro, I think, so it doesn't hit my Rexes with the fireball. I'm so quick. Oh, oh, what's it? Oh, that's the um, the flyers. Okay. Oh, there's a fireball. Okay, right, that should miss me and the Rexes. Oh, oh, help, guys, help, help, please. Oh no, it's hit the Rexes. Oh no, guys, help, help me, help. Right, she's turn on the damage numbers because everyone likes them. Oh, it's here. Get it, get it. Oh no, get it guys, please. Oh wow, there's still do there's still two Dimetrodons on me. Oh, I just just dig oh, I just ignore them. Right. Oh this is the bad part. Oh it's oh it's burning them. Oh no. Oh, I can't give them courage because of these stupid Dimetrodons. Right, that's half. Oh, get off me. Right, that's one. Oh, no, I've been caught. Oh, that's not good. Right, I need to help my shotgun, or else these guys, I'm losing. Oh, oh, no. I've lost three. Oh, no. We're not even halfway. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, no. I've lost so many. <laughs> We're not even half when I've lost seven. Oh, come on. Ow. 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 Why do I take 900 damage? Oh, I've lost another one. Ziggy Zombat. Bad. Right. Oh no, not a fireball. Uh, move, 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 move. Oh no. Guys, oh, over them. That should. Oh, no, oh, it didn't. It hit them. Alright, more Dimetrodons, and I just need to start shooting it. Or else we are losing. That's gonna hit them. Yeah. Oh, direct hit. Get over there, guys, please. Oh, they're so bloody. And it's coming. Guys, send it. This might be suicide, but we have to do it. Come on. Oh, look at that one. It's so bloody. Alright, coverage. Coverage. Come on. Uh, I need to shoot it. Like a third left, I think. Right, yeah, put you on auto courage. Have you stand off your head? Oh, I've lost another Rex. I have not, I think I've only got like eight left. And that one in front of me is so bloody. That one's almost dead. Oh, come on. And another one. Yeah, crazy lady's gone. No. Alright, guys, please. Ow, ow, I've been hit. I've lost another walk games. <laughs> Come on. I think we're actually gonna do it. If they can stay alive for just walk like 30 seconds. Go on. No, don't reload. Shoot, just shoot, shoot, go on. Go on. I've lost another one. No, go on. I've almost done it. Go on. I've lost another one. And it's down. <laughs> That was so tough. Brutal. Oh my god. 
It's done though. Look at how bloody... Oh, I need to get the saddles, don't I? Those saddles cost way too much. I need to get them. Oh, but I need to get the artifact as well. That was so tough. Brutal. But at least it's done. I can build my army again. We teleported out with only a few Rexes left, but each of them had taken a battering and almost had very little health left. But I guess most importantly, we had at least defeated the dragon. But now it was time to rebuild, to rebuild for the Overseer. Before I began work on rebuilding the Rex army, I had spotted a high level cartridge on Tosaurus. So I brought over a baby Rex, killed it and fed it to the Karcher, hopped on its back and soon later it tamed and came out with 163 levels and more importantly it teamed with 180% melee a massive boost on the 20% I had before I brought it back to base and began breeding it as well as starting to rebuild my boss rex army as well as hatching a baby good karcher with good melee and I began to raise it whilst it did I went out my Yankee to get metal as I needed to get so much again to rebuild all the saddles that I couldn't pick up once the karcher was raised I leveled it with a couple baby rexes which gave it 71 levels which was timely as I needed to take it out to farm all the hide that I needed for the saddle blueprints. A trip which did involve me taking out an alpha rex. With the hide collected I moved on to the fibre. By the end of day 189 I had raised the 15th and final boss rex and I started day 190 by levelling the boss rexes and also getting some berries to create stimulant and put all the ingredients into a cooking pot and made myself some more mind wipe tonics. I drank one, put all my points into the crafting skill and finally crafted the remaining rex saddles that I needed. But I saw some tech armor as I'd now unlocked all the engrams from the bosses and I wanted it but I was kind of short on black pearls. So I headed out into the depths of the water with my moser and began getting two sows, alpha mosers to get the black pearls which I needed. I also got myself a sea drop which was terrible but this drop almost killed me as Moses began to attack and I was off my mount. I even ended up getting stung by an eel, yet somehow I was able to get back onto my Moser and clean up all the creatures. With those black pearls collected, I made the tech rifle before spending a few more days leveling the Rexes. Preparation wasn't done there, as I took my Anki out to get flint and stone to turn into spark powder. And as I burned the wood, I headed out to get crystal with my Anki from the volcano so that I can make some pieces of tech armor in the tech replicator. I had enough materials to make the leggings, the chest piece and the boots, but it was nice to be back in tech armor for the first time in Ark Survival Ascended. Back to preparation so, I picked up a deodon and brought it to base to heal my Rexes. Next, I made a lot of shotgun ammo, followed by making this Ascendant Rifle BP, which I think I got in the first 100 days and the ammo for it. Before it was time to start moving the Rexes over to the tech cave, and on day 195, all my stuff was ready and the Rexes were at the cave, but I then forgot the tributes, so I had to go back to base to pick them up. And with everything ready, it was go time. First in the cave was the Karcher, which does actually fit through the gate if you didn't know, and in my opinion it's a must have as it makes the cave so much easier to tackle. Up next was the many Rexes which I had to bring in, and once they were all in, it was time to unleash hell on the cave. My car shark quickly started to take everything out and it seemed as if the Polovius were then unable to stun me from on top of the Karcher, which made things a lot easier. As if you can get stunned by these creatures, it makes your life hell and things much difficult. I soon got to level 100 Frenzy, which made things even easier. But I did notice this sleeping Megalo sliding across the ground. Weird. I was able to easily take out the level 620 Rexes, but I did start to notice something that seemed a little bit off. On Alpha, there is supposed to be two Gigas or Karchers in the tech cave, yet I hadn't even seen one. And at the end, there's supposed to be this super high level one, and I couldn't even see it. And this was really weird. I did finally spot one Giga, who I shot with my shotgun and watched it walk off the edge into the lava. I killed the remaining few creatures and made my way to the end, where there should have been a second super high level Giga, but there just wasn't. So the alarm bells were starting to ring, that something was off. Nonetheless, I headed back up to the top of my UT in case there were any sneaky Perlovias left that I'd missed before I began to bring down the Rexes. The first batch was just two of them as I was wary of losing any, but they made it down to the bottom safely. Then I safely brought down a group of three, but as I brought down the next group, they one decided to not walk in a straight line and instead walked off the edge into the lava. 
Thankfully though, it didn't walk far into the lava, and I was able to hop on it and walk it back onto land without dying or losing too much damage. I was then able to bring the rest of the Rexes down to the bottom, but as I summoned the teleporter to the Overseer, I noticed something was off. Um, why is it green? It should be red. Alpha is red. That's odd. This, that, this doesn't seem right. I teleported over and then brought all the Rexes into the boss arena and began the fight. And here we go. A moment I have been waiting for 200 days in the making. It's the Overseer. Alright, guys, go and get close. Give you some coverage. Get some extra boost. And get it. Oh, wait, it's got its protection. Alright, guys, get it. Come on. Any second now, you can start biting. Oh, and here come the uh, little defense units. Right, when? Can it hurry up and just let it start attacking? Oh, it's taking for ages, man. Oh, here we go. Okay, right. Nice. Come on, guys. Oh, that's a lot of damage already. Okay, we've got the first boss. What is it? Come on, give me something good. Not the dragon. It's the monkey. Alright, guys, get it. Come on, guys, get it. I'll give you some courage. Don't mind me. I'll give you some courage. Give you a little boost. Uh, oh, that, that hurt them. Oh, oh, look at their damage. They're absolutely melting it. Go on, guys. Wait, what? How, how, how's it gamma? The tech cave was alpha. How is this? How is it gamma? What has happened? How is it now gamma? I spent 200 days working towards gamma. What the hell? Why is it gamma? This was so frustrating. To basically spend 200 days all for nothing was just so annoying. But I'm not done yet. You see, I looked through my log files and I was able to go back to the closest bond, which was just before the dragon fight. So my Rexes hadn't actually just died yet. So instead of breeding up a new army, which I had done, I just used the same ones before as they had the same stats, almost the same saddles, and they were basically the same Rexes. One thing that did happen though is on this save, I hadn't yet tamed the cart Chodontosaurus that I'd tamed later on. So I had to spawn myself in a level 110, tame it, and then breed it and raise it up, which is why you may notice the cart Chodontosaurus is now a slightly different colour. And then I also used commands to get all my stuff back, the tributes, the materials, the equipment, the ammo, the weapons, the armour, just as I had just spent the last 10-15 days making it and I have put it in the video. So to carry on with the video, it was now go time with the Tech Cave Round 2. I brought the Karcher in first and then brought in the many Rexes and before the door closed I got the final remaining one in. And now I won't bore you with repeated footage of me doing the Tech Cave once again as I just did show you doing me the Alpha Tech Cave as things were level 620 and that's the Alpha level despite the Overseer being Gamma. And I managed to get through it this time with no problems once again. Although there was still one small problem. Only one Giga or Karcha had spawned again. It was only a level 10 and it shouldn't be too big of an issue and it wasn't for my Karcha as it ploughed through it. But weirdly again there wasn't the big high level Giga at the end. I wasn't too annoyed as you can just walk these guys into the lava and it makes an easy kill. But I just hope that this hadn't ditched the Overseer fight again as I really couldn't deal with fighting the Gamma Overseer again. But as I went to get the Rexes I got stunned by a Pelovia and then a Micro Raptor. And then something really weird happened and I got stuck on the back of the saddle backwards and I couldn't move at all, I could only spin around. I even at one point got stuck sideways on the saddle. I found a fix where I had to leave the tribe and then claim all my dinos back using commands. But with it fixed I began to bring down all the rexes and now I really started to lose it. With the Gamma Overseer fight before, this was the thing that tipped me over. With all the bugs and glitches and the rexes getting stuck on each other when you walk them down and getting stuck in me being unable to move and then walking off the edge. 
bro. I swear to God, if you walk off... Oh, it's... Oh, God. Oh, it's walked off. Oh, this is the worst. I've never been more unhappy. I got the stupid fallen wrecks to safety and then brought down the rest of the first pack. But even on the simple straight lines, they began walking from side to side unnecessarily and almost fell off. I think you might be able to see why I was getting so frustrated with this. Luckily, the second lot weren't as bad. I lied. Just what even is this? Eventually, I got the gang to the teleporter pad and summoned in the overseer. And with a sigh of relief, I saw red instead of green, which should mean we are actually fighting the Alpha Overseer this time, and not the stupid Gamma again. We teleported over, and I then brought the entire gang into the Overseer boss arena, and whistled them forwards to take on the Alpha Overseer. Right, it is go time for the second time. This best be Alpha. Honestly, I swear this is Alpha I'm uninstalling the game. Well, I'm seeing red. Alright, courage. Oh, that's green. Come on, just please be alpha. I think the, the health bar has to be... Oh, it is alpha. <laughs> Let's go. Right, this is the battle I've been waiting for. Come on, guys. I'll give you all that courage. And you should... Oh, I hope my guys are strong enough. If they're not strong enough after all this complaining, that's going to be really embarrassing. Right, come on. Why is this one not got coverage? There we go. Oh, and the defense units are here. Okay. Oh, what? Why is that Rex there? Oh, there's two. Come on, guys. Ow, oh, I've been stunned. Alright, shoot. Come on. Just help my team out a little bit. Alright. Why Spare Boy free and who's that R soccer? Why are you here? Oh, that's something I didn't mention. I brought in the original army, and I think I've raised up like three or more, three or four more Rexes. So yeah, I have more than 20. Right, come on, guys. What are you doing there, man? I just had to make a little cut there as that glitch happened where I got stuck on my UT again happened, and I then had to leave the tribe and claim it from back. But we are back. All right, let's get on with this. All right, those guys are there. Oh. Everyone just been pushed back. Oh, I oh, won't be stunned. Okay. Come on. Okay, now shit. Come on. Come on, guys. Go on. Get it. Get it. Where is it going? No, oh, it's another lasers. More late. Oh, it missed. Let's go. Alright, get on the easy. Alright, they're all following it there. Okay. Why is this one just. I don't know what's happening there. Oh, oh, it almost happened again. Oh, my otter was killed. I don't, I don't even know when it died. When did it die? Must have been when I was fixing one of the, um, the, the saddle glitch thing. All right, guys, go on, get it. Come on now. Why is it? Can I get a boss? Oh, miss. Nice. All right, guys, get it. Okay, what's this? It's the... Oh, it's there. What is it? Oh, it's the broodmother. Come on, guys. That's it. Should be an easy kill, this. I think they've got slightly less health than the actual boss fights that we've done before, I think. I'm not sure, but guys, get it. Come on, it's coming. Get it. Guys, forget everything else. Just get the brood mummy. Oh, nice. I've actually got behind it this time. Wait, I swear they're not hitting it. Now they are, okay. That, that, why weren't they hitting it? Oh, some did 1.1k damage. Oh, it's all down to half health. Oh, this is going so quick. Alright, let's help. Let's go. Oh, I'll get my UT. Oh, I don't like this. Get on the UT. Okay, we're good. Now we just need to wait for the um for it to be unprotected. Then we attack again and we get the next boss. Come on. Oh, I just got stuck. Oh, I hate getting stuck on these defense units. Oh, 
Oh, it's guys, get it. It's get it, guys. It's you can attack it. Only one person's attacking it. Everyone else, get it. Oh, it's moving. Okay. Oh, how did it get me? No, it's it. Can't absolutely lever it. Go on. Oh, that's some good damage. Nice, be a boy's bit. Come on. Why is this one not doing anything? Yo, Ven, come on. Oh, here we go. Can't even I can't even tell how my Rex are doing. What? <laughs> that one's still got full health left. Oh. That's gonna hit me, I think. Yeah. Go on. Please don't hit. Nice, come on. And the last one should be well the last the three is the mon monkey and that's the easiest one, so that's good. And then we have one more after. Come on. Oh, it's done this glitch again. <laughs> I've got to leave. I don't know. How, I don't get how that works, but it does. Get it. Go on, guys. Get it. Get it. Go on. Here, have some coverage. Lee, we absolutely destroyed that right we should have one more and it's a random of the three I think come on oh nice I need to take these out these are they're so annoying wow oh wait it's, oh, it's the final one what is it let's go oh, I'm glad it's not the dragon Alright guys, over there, come on. Come on, it's just the last one. Come on, get it! Get it! Oh, these guys are bloody. Um, guys, please, get it. Attack this, please. <laughs> Why aren't they attacking? Get it! Guys, there we go, come on. Ow. Go on. Come on. Oh my god, look at how close it is. Come on. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, that was a mess. That whole getting stuck on the UT thing, that was an absolute mess, but we have done it. On day 198, we've got two days spare, but the Alpha Overseer is down. How do some of these guys do? They've got so much health left. Let's go. Oh, no, this time I'm getting that ascension. I've got it on the last 100 days. Where is it? Here it is. Right. Where is... What? Oh, I have no clue what's happening. Why is it there, but it's here? And we are done. The achievement is unlocked as proof. After not 100, but 200 days, we have defeated both the Gamma Overseer and the more important Alpha Overseer. The support in the first 100 days was incredible. I broke many records on my channel. So a big thank you to anyone who watched that one and this video as it does mean so much to me. And if you enjoy, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment to help with the algorithm of course. And this will be my last video of the year. It's been a crazy year. I hit 1 million views on my channel, 10,000 subscribers just the other day. I've done three entire 100 day videos since Ark Survival Descendant has dropped just at the end of October. And I'll be back with many more in the new year. So Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.